Uh, my name is Brian, and I've had the pleasure of spending the last two weeks with my partners Edward Liu and Brian Gergen, excuse me, uh, <clears throat> uh, creating a collaborative software development application that we have called Switchboard. Now, Switchboard essentially provides a social network for developers uh, via three main work streams. The first is Solve, in which they uh, are paired together and uh, solve problems that we provide. The second is interview, which is essentially the same as solve, except it's in an interview format, allows us to practice our interviews. And lastly, we have workspaces, which my partner, Ed, will tell you a little bit more about now. Thanks. Great. Thanks, Brian. So workspaces are persistent freestyle areas where you can write and run your code. They're, you can use them individually, but they were designed to be used collaboratively. So for example, assume I want to practice my algorithms, and I want to write a simple recursive Fibonacci function. Um, but I need some help. I'm getting it wrong. So, so fortunately, Workspaces allows me to invite someone to share my workspace. So I can request assistance from a random online user, or I can invite a friend. And so I see my friend Brian is online, so I invite him to my workspace. And once he accepts my invitation, he comes to my workspace, and we can open a video chat. And I can, I can explain my problem to him, and he can, he can tell me what he thinks, and he can edit my code in real time. So we implemented the video chat feature using WebRTC and uh, the live text editor using Sockets, um, which uh, Brian will explain later. And um, now I'll pass you on to Brian Gergen, who will talk about how you can use Switchboard to solve problems both collaboratively and in, in an interview setting. Thanks, Ed. So um, with Switchboard also allows the user to work on specific problems. And there are two modes for working on specific problems. There's a solve mode and an interview mode. The difference being that in interview mode, the interviewer has access to the solution code. In solve mode and for the interviewee in interviewer mode, they can see the problem as well as the result of running our test specs against their code. So running these test specs presented um, an interesting decision point for us because we needed to be able to run the user's code, but we couldn't do so on our own server due to security concerns. So our solution was to use Docker. Docker creates an isolated container uh, which will, which we can, in which we can run both the user's code and the test code together. So when the user submits their code, Switchboard sends their code along with our test specs over to Docker. It instructs Docker to open up a bash shell, and it then uh, uses shell commands to tell Docker to run the tests. The tests are then sp uh, piped to Docker's standard out, which Switchboard is listening for. And when Switchboard receives those results, it renders them to the user with any errors that the test might have thrown. Once, they, once the user's code passes all the test specs, they can move on to the solutions page, where they can see uh, community submitted uh, solutions. So I'm now going to bring Brian back up to talk to you about notifications. Thanks, Brian. Now, when I'm in a workspace, and I'm writing some code, but I'm stuck on a bug, and I need Ed to come over and help me out, the last thing that I want to do is wait for some periodic update to tell me whether or not he's online. No, I need that information relayed to me instantaneously. So we used WebSockets uh, to handle things uh, such as our uh, real-time notifications, which you might have noticed in the top right of the corner, popping up as a material toast. Um, but it also handled things such as our, uh, the live video chat being appended to the DOM as soon as someone accepts a, ch uh, a chat request. Um, and we realized that there are some potential scalability issues as far as WebSockets are concerned. So as our user base grows, we're considering other alternatives such as Firebase. Um, but anyway, that's it for us, folks. Thank you all so much for listening. Uh, again, we're Switchboard. We've been providing collaborative code editing experiences since uh, last week. And, um, and we actually are deploying currently. We're not deployed at the moment, but you can visit us at switchboard.tech because there is no I in this collaborative Switchboard thing. Sorry. And